Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing five minute book reviews. This series is where I talk for like five minutes about a book that I recently read. Wanted to give you my thoughts and ideas and opinions on that. And the reason why I'm doing five minutes is because I can talk forever. And so I've chosen to try and keep it short and sweet. So hopefully you can get an idea of the book and my feelings and maybe get some clarification on whether or not you wanna read it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm gonna try and start uploading more, so yeah. Let's get into it. Today, I'm talking about Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. So, Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. It is a male-male romance, fake dating, romance, genre, read, and it's about Luke and Oliver, and Luke is the son of a washed up ex rock star i guess and oliver is a barrister which is for us americans i had to figure that out it's like a lawyer i'm so uncultured and i'm sorry for everyone who's not in america that's watching this i'm so sorry um i'm not trying to be offensive but clearly i didn't know what that was so that's just because i've never been i guess oliver is a barrister luke is the son of a washed up Rockstar and Luke needs someone who will help clean up his image because his dad's making a comeback and Oliver happens to be at the right place at the right time and Oliver is also someone that Luke has been attracted to from the beginning so they decide to fake date and during this fake dating they have a lot of up and downs ups and downs and they have a lot of kinks but they also learn a lot about each other and obviously in the fake dating stuff true feelings try and creep their way in and that is where this book gets really interesting and i uh threw it threw me for a loop at the very end because that's not the loop that i was expecting i when i read books i always like you know you read you read you read you read you read and you're waiting for this like peak right here for where the shitty thing's gonna happen the crap thing's gonna happen and then pfft, it all goes to crap and it hits the hits the ceiling and then and then you're waiting for the, like them to rekindle you know so when i read books unfortunately i'm always waiting for that crap thing to happen and the crap thing that happened i was not expecting that um i do believe i wrote i rated this four stars i really 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 enjoyed it um i'm trying to diversify my my bookshelf and this was one of the ways because i've only read one of one other male male romance which was red white and royal blue and i really really enjoyed that one i did love that um and so when my book club was talking about this one i really wanted to read that because it was a great way to introduce other things into my bookshelf so um if you're looking for something different from a normal read I mean, this is normal, but something, if you're used to reading, like, male, female romances, stuff like that, this is a breath of fresh air. I loved it so much. It was very adorable. I loved how much growth and learning each of these characters did because Oliver puts on this, like, I'm perfect kind of facade and Luke puts on this like I'm damaged goods kind of facade and they grow together and I really enjoyed that when I can see growth during a relationship in the book I really like it so 10 out of 10 would recommend if you are looking for this book please or looking into it please pick it up and read it I really enjoyed it I will end this before I keep ranting I hope you have a great weekend don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell notification I haven't been asking for that but I'm actually trying to do this YouTube thing and I keep saying that but you know I'm gonna try so I hope you have a great day and I love you bye